got this. You got this. I'm pretty sure he won, chat. Can I get confirmation? Did he? Booga won? Let's go! Freaking Booga, man. He's the best. All right, chat. I'm down to do some random squats. Thank you so much for the 10 sub. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the love. What's up, Sela? Dímelo, dímelo. ¿Cómo estás? What's up, Mauricio? Hola, Cody. On my stream, I want to meet people and just have a conversation with them. Hello? How are you? I want them to feel special. Just have fun and hopefully help them to a victory. I'm on my way. I always like playing video games and that was my happiness. But I was so shy. I was always alone. I was always afraid. I was starting to struggle. I went from so low, having nothing to this life that I can only dream of ever having. I grew up in Puerto Rico, in this little town called Juana Diaz. My mom was a single mother. She was working like 12 to 14 hours a day, trying to put food on the table for us. No fue fácil, te digo, fue bien difícil porque las cosas no, tú sabes, económicamente y todo eso, la vida es dura. My mom, she used to leave me at my grandma's house. She was there for me. Maria era muy cercana a mi madre, pues fue la que me ayudó a criarla. La que siempre, siempre, siempre tenía una palabra de amor y de cariño. I always liked playing video games and that was my happiness. My family used to make fun of me. They called me strange for being different. But my grandma, she was very caring and non-judging. She'll like just sit next to me and she will comfort me and just have a conversation with me. She was the only one that I could just talk to. My town was a little too dangerous for me. So I always stayed inside at home playing video games. I was a straight A student but when I was 13 years old, my mom told me, we're leaving, we're going to New York. I was just so confused. I didn't understand what was happening. I didn't want to leave my home and leave my grandmother. In New York, I went to a school where I was the only Latina. I sounded different. I looked different, I dressed differently, and I didn't speak any English, so I got made fun of. I used to pick up my lunch and just go into the bathroom and eat my lunch in the bathroom. My grades were just dropping. I started begging my mom, please, let's go back to Puerto Rico. Let's go back home. Like, everything is so wrong here. But she started helping me. She started translating every homework I had. It took me like six months for me to understand English and be able to like speak a little bit. It seems like things started to get better. I made friends and we just played video games together. Ella llegaba de la escuela, hacía las asignaciones, estudiaba, se bañaba, comía, pero el resto del tiempo era jugando. I graduated high school and went to college. But back in Puerto Rico, my grandma had Alzheimer's and it just got worse and worse. My mom was in Puerto Rico with my grandmother 
and I got a call from my mom. My grandmother had passed away, and uh... <sighs> silencio. Y ahí María. Que mami qué? Y me, me cuentan la gente que María corrió, se fue corriendo, 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 corriendo y por todo aquello. It's devastating. It was so much my family kind of collapsed. And life just changed. I went to Puerto Rico to go to her funeral. I was so low. That was the last time I was in Puerto Rico. I made a promise that I was going to go back to see her when I've accomplished something. I want to make her proud. I went from playing video games because you were happy to playing video games because you just want to distract yourself. I played for 15 to 16 hours a day. I would go to sleep, wake up to eat, just over and over. And that's where I met Alyssa in one of my matches. She was in Canada. Me and her just started talking and I told her about what happened to me and what happened about my grandmother. And she just sat there listening. I realized that I was falling for her. She just made me happy. So I moved to Canada when I was 19. It was very hard for us. We just struggled the entire time. Struggled to feed ourselves. We struggled for money. It was really terrible. But we saved some money, got an apartment, and we bought consoles. I remember Alyssa telling me, you're gonna stream. I'm like, you think me, I can talk to a camera. I'm so shy. I can't even talk to people in person. Why are we doing this? This is so dumb. She's like, cause you're gonna stream. I was like, okay, you're out of your mind. What's up? It's Maria Lopez, also known as Chica Boricua. I am 20 years old. I was born in Ponce, Puerto Rico. I had a camera, a monitor, and what was holding my camera was a box of crackers. I was so awkward, oh my god. For now, I'm gonna be providing you guys some pretty cool gameplays. That's what I think. It went on hours and hours. <sighs> it was great. Love you guys. See you later. It took a while for me to be more of myself and not so shy. The more and more I did it, the more I saw people coming back. I heard that there was a game that was free, that was Battle Royale. GG's! That's what I like! And as soon as I started playing, we were just grinding wins. I had so much fun. I started streaming randoms because I wanted to meet people. Hello. Hi, how are you? I wanted to have a conversation with them. How many comments do you have? What's your number one question? Go ahead. I wasn't just the streamer. It was like a community. Hi, Chad. How are you? I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. They know how much anxiety I have, how shy I am, and they help me. <laughs> we just bonded. 
I appreciate you guys. Love you very much. Bye. People started recognizing my voice from my videos. I gained like six million followers on TikTok. 2.2 million followers on Twitch. And YouTube, I went from 500,000 to 1.2 million. Let's go! Then Epic asked me, would you like to be the next outfit in the game? Me in the video game, the, my favorite video game, be part of that? And I'm happy with what I've chosen. It's Puerto Rico, LGBTQ, and my pickaxe has my grandma's name on it. She will be in the game with me forever. So it, it feels great. It, it feels amazing. I made a promise to my grandmother that I was going to go back to Puerto Rico. And now is the time. I haven't been there in nine years. Just landed in Puerto Rico. I'm super excited to see my family. I feel like I've accomplished more than I ever thought I would. So I think I'm ready to go see my grandmother. She would be proud. I talked to her. I just told her about everything that happened to me and how much I missed her. I told her I'm living my dreams right now. And I'm just happy. My grandmother, she was the main person that kept our family together. So I feel like now it's me. Yo a todo el mundo ese día le pregunto, ¿ustedes juegan Fortnite? ¿Ustedes juegan Fortnite? A veces, ¿ustedes conocen a una que se llama chica? Esa es mía, esa es mía. <ríe> Tú sabes, pues bien orgullosa. Have grown up before I was so shy, and now I have a voice. I went from so low to this life. It feels like a dream. I think you have to put your heart out there and just do what makes you happy.